Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. Today we're doing a Let's Play and Initial Impressions Review for Snipe Hunt VR, a game released on the Steam Store October 24th, 2022. It officially supports the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and the Valve Index. And uh, this is a maze game, or kind of like a mix of Labyrinths, if y'all have played that game, and a little bit of Phasmophobia. It's kind of its own thing. Uh, basically, you're in a maze, creepy stuff happens, and you have to find clues to try to figure out who is the baddie. Now, um, there's three levels, and we're going to start off with the easiest level. So, Danger Level 1, John's Corn Maze. So, we're there, and let's go ahead and start. Well, maybe it's not selected. Let me make sure it is. Just want to make sure it is selected. Um, and it does. <laughs> when you start, it does kind of feel like the game is crashing. But that's just the game starting. And uh, yeah, go into the shed. So we got. By the way, this game recommends playing seated. Now it says go into the shed, but then you're kind of dropped off here. Like, yeah, okay, we go into the shed. Are we supposed to do something? Now you notice there's there's several things here. So there's a bag. There's meat. Uh, there's some a trap. There's like a stake, and that thing just disappears on its own. Some testing kit. Some goggles. I don't know what the goggles are for. And there's a big pot here. Now, as far as your options, you have full locomotion, smooth and snap turning available. And these are the five different types of monsters you can see and the clues that you're looking for. Now, uh, p part of the options I had is that I did increase display scale above 100%, but then my uh, frame rates dropped. It dropped all the way to 45 frames per second, so I didn't do that. I have all this on high, geometry, LOD, texture quality, shadow quality. I have volume metrics enabled. I did disable all this and lower it all to medium to try to up the uh, uh, display scale, but it would still run at 45 frames per second. So uh, depth of field, I did turn it on, but I found out that the menu gets all blurry if you do that, so I didn't do that. Let's go ahead and let's go into the maze. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look bad. But there are several issues. Uh, there's a lot of pop-in. If you turn the volumetrics off, it looks a lot worse. So that's why I have, normally I would turn volume metrics off just to get better performance, but it really looks super ugly. Okay, so we have a bone here. So let's uh, reach down, pick up a bone, and we can go back to the base. And uh, as you can tell, there's some creepy sounds. Now you can actually get into the corn, but uh, we're gonna do that a little bit later. These might be footprints here. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Are those footprints? It's hard to tell. Um, the graphics aren't the best. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that, but I can tell as far as the pop-in. The pop-in is very severe in this game. So we're going to drop the bone here. Now, there's no tutorial. The only reason I know to do this is because it, it was shown in the store page uh, in the store page it shows dropping off the bone here uh, I didn't see any reaction I don't know so we're gonna put bone I'll put none because nothing happened it didn't glow it there was no smoke so we're gonna go with none I don't know if that's accurate, but we're gonna we're gonna go with that. 
again the pop in is very severe i don't i don't know if you guys see this on the desktop uh video recording but in vr i'm just seeing the corn come in and out of existence as i approach it which is not good it does take away a lot of the immersion let me go through the corn so y'all could see so this is what happens with the corn and as you can see <laughs> Um, there's some creepy sounds and then you come up come off the other end of the corn and you're right back to where you started uh, but we still have the severe pop in and like I mentioned I did try various different video settings I tried lowering the graphics I turned volumetrics off it still has pop in and like I said it, it, when I tried upping the resolution scale it ran worse so resolution scale seems to be the one thing that really hits the frame rates, but there seems to be no solution at all to the pop-in. No matter what you do, you're going to have pop-in. Like, I have pop-in no matter what I chose, so... Uh, I mean, I didn't chose low graphics. I guess I could have gone that extra mile and turned everything off and chosen low, but I usually don't do that. <laughs> just At a certain point, you just have to deal with a pop-in versus having a very ugly-looking game, so... Uh, but yeah, the pop-in really takes away a lot of the immersion, a lot of the what, what might be scary going through this corn, uh, especially because you kind of see through walls and stuff. So uh, for that reason, I, I'm very ambivalent about this game. I, uh, honestly, I'm not going to give a positive recommendation for this game. I'm leaning towards a neutral recommendation uh, because it is budget price. So on sale, it's less than $5. I think there's a good concept here, but the the VR needs to be fixed. Like the VR experience, honestly, is not very good. As far as the footprints, I mean, I don't know. Are these footprints? I can't tell. Maybe in non-VR, I'd be able to tell if these were footprints or not, but... Honestly, I can't tell. We're also looking for a rune. Uh, but I don't know what a rune looks like because I've never seen one. I mean, I might have seen one and just not realized it was a rune. Uh, you can cut through the corn. Uh, sometimes you'll get like to a secret place if you cut through the corn. But usually you just end up to another place on the map. Usually where you've been recently. Okay, there's a little music box. So we want to get closer to the music box in that direction. And <laughs> there's a crow. Not really scary. So far we haven't seen anything scary. Uh, scary stuff does appear. But, and definitely some scary sounds is the sound of the wolves. Uh, no, I think you need to be much closer to the music box for you to be able to cut through the corn to get it. I don't think this is going to work. And I might use the goggles. <laughs> okay, that's a weird sound. Sounded, kind of, so, sounded almost like a cowboy. <laughs> uh, I have seen some of the scary monsters, but so far, I don't know if we just haven't been in the maze long enough. But I know eventually they do. Some of them do come out, and they'll chase you and whatnot. So you kind of have to figure out who they are prior to getting to that point. Okay, we're getting close to the music box again. But each time we get close to it, we hit this like roadblock. Yeah, let's just go back and let's get the goggles. Maybe the goggles will help me somehow. Like I said, this game really needs a tutorial to 
kind of teach you the basics. I'm kind of flying blind, and I have to admit, I don't understand all the mechanics of this game. But in my defense, it's not really explained, so I don't think I'm at fault there. Um, I did look at the store page very carefully. Now, I haven't seen gameplay of other people. Maybe other if I saw the YouTube gameplay, I might figure this out. Uh, but right now, I'm mostly confused on all the mechanics. But I didn't want to see YouTube videos because I didn't want to spoil this game for me. Especially part of the game is figuring out. I would hate to spoil my game just for that reason. Just because the game doesn't explain some mechanics. So there, there is a little... Or I already have one of the, one of the pieces on the inventory. Okay, so there we go. We got the goggles on. Uh, I, like I, but like I said, I don't know. Are you supposed to have the goggles on? Is I almost don't want the goggles because I don't know what they do. And before I know what to, what they do, I don't know if it's a good idea to be putting them on. Uh, do they help you in some way, or uh, what what effect do they have? It seems to lower your field of vision, though. And I don't, I don't know if they have any bad effects. Uh, you can't reach dead ends, obviously. And, uh... Things are... Are getting very red now. We haven't seen any clues. Oh, more bones, we, but we've already seen bones. We, and I saw the store page video, and that's the only way I figured that you put it in, in the big pot. Um, but it didn't do anything for us, so I don't know if you're supposed to do something else to test it out. Okay. Like, are these footprints right here? Let me show you guys. Are these footprints? If they are, how do we test it? How do we test them? Because it says uh, for footprints, it says smoke, glow, or none. How do we how do we test that? Let me put on my goggles. Would you say the? Let's uh let's put the day glow. Let's just put that they glow. I don't know if that's true, but now we just have to find the rune, red or blue. And I have no idea how we find the rune. Okay, there, there's something there. That was definitely something nearby. We're near the entrance, though. Um... But I, I don't want to go near the entrance since I don't know, wouldn't know what to do there. So uh, let's keep going through the maze. Now we are on the easy difficulty, so that might be why there's not a whole lot happening. Uh, I might increase the difficulty just to see more scary stuff for you guys. But uh, so far, like I said, uh, there's a lot of pop in. It really takes away a lot of the enjoyment for me personally and it would keep me from giving any kind of positive recommendation for this game and you know it lacks a tutorial it, it definitely needs some kind of tutorial there's not even like text to tell you what to do uh, even the store page doesn't do a good job of describing exactly what you're supposed to do now obviously some games you're supposed to try out different mechanics and test them out but here we are like okay I have one inventory spot and there's a bag in there what does my bag do like how do... and let me, let me let me let me go ahead and drop that okay okay there's a oh are those the runes okay so if those are the runes then it's glowing okay Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's go back. So runes are what? No, they're not red or blue. No, those those can't be the runes. Okay, that that's weird. Okay, so the bag has like some little glowing stuff, 
but uh, it's not red or blue, so that's what we were looking for. So it's not the runes, it's something else. I have no idea what the bag is supposed to do, though. <laughs> Just figured that out by accident by getting the bag out. Let's get a different tool. All right, all right, so let's go back. Um, like I said, I don't know what the goggles do. I think we can get rid of the bag. The steak. I mean, I guess if we see a wolf, we can get the steak. I don't know. Uh, I am running at... The game's performance has taken a hit. It's now down to 45 frames per second. And now it's back up to 90. So, even with the resolution or display scale set at 100% and not, not above that... I still have frame rate drops all the way down to 45 frames per second. So optimization is the big thing for this game. Uh, I mean, I could get rid of the volumetric fog. That should really help performance a lot. In fact, let me do that right now so you guys can see the, the difference. And I want to say, okay, let's, uh, let's video settings, volumetric it enabled, we're, we're getting rid of volumetrics. Okay. So we got rid of volumetrics, and, and you see how much uglier the game looks now. Like, it looks a lot uglier now, in my opinion. And I think the reason we're getting away with being on this maze for a very long time is not a lot of stuff happening. It's because we have it on easy difficulty, the first difficulty. So I hear a lot of wolves. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? I mean, you're supposed to play seated. Is drop the stake right here. Okay, so I dropped the stake where I heard a bunch of wolves, but now there's no more. I don't hear wolves anymore. Again, the visuals look very bad without volumetric. At this point, uh, since nothing has happened, I'm almost tempted to change the difficulty. But I don't think you can do it from this. I think you have to go to the main menu area. Let's see. So we got... Glow, none, and I'm guessing on the glow. So, rude, red or blue. I would say red, just because it seems like stuff is shining red. <laughs> what is that sound? That sounds like some cowboys or something. That's, that's very weird. Ah, here it is. Okay. So here's the music box. So we can take the music box back. And so we can take the music box but now back to the home base. Oh, that's a footprint. That's a big footprint. Huh, okay, so we found a footprint. Good. And I would say it's glowing. So th is that what we put for glowing? No, we... Yeah, we put footprint glowing. By the way, it's very hard to see this in VR. So another thing that's wrong is this little menu item here. So the only thing we have left is the rune to tell us what kind of monster we're facing, whether it's red or blue. We can take a, a total guess at it, though. And I think we're going to have to take a total guess at it, because so far nothing is happening, and we've been here a very long time. And I'm not really sure in all the mechanics, so I think we're just going to take a guess. Okay. So, we're going to take a total guess. So, we have glow... For footprints, 
Footprints Glow. So was it Wendig Wendingo or Loop Garou? Those are two of our choices. And then the bones were none. So it has to be Wendingo. Um, I don't know. Uh, can we... So we definitely have to put red or blue. Okay, so how do we... Yes, I'm confident, but how do we leave? Just trap it. How? Yeah, I'm not sure on this, when it says rune, I'm not sure what it means. Like, where is this rune? Have we just not seen it? Have we seen it and just didn't realize we we're looking at a rune? But I haven't seen anything that would indicate a rune. Uh, I don't know that we've searched every place in the maze, but we certainly have walked a long ways in this maze. But yeah, like I told you, when I turn volumetrics off, it looks really bad. But it has to be the Wendingo, so we know we're right. But I don't know if that's good enough. You might have to trap the blue rune, which we don't know where it is, so we might be SOL there. But we know it's Wendingo. Wendingo. And we haven't seen anything scary besides the bird flying. I mean, we do hear scary stuff. How do we trap the rune? So we have the trap. Where's the rune? Is, it th is this the rune? What do, you, what do you guys think? Is this the rune? This is something here. I don't know what it is. doesn't look blue though, so I don't think that's the rune. I mean, I honestly don't think that's the rune, but who knows what it is. I mean, I honestly don't know what to do at this point. It is on easy though, so keep that in mind. I think if it was on normal or hard, we would have run into the, the monster already. Okay, okay, where are you? Come out! Come on, let's do this. Let's do it. Yeah, where are you? Where are you? Oh, did I die? Did I trap it? No, he got me. Is that the Wendingo Winding we were talking about? So there, there it is. It finally got us. That took a long time on easy mode, though. <laughs> Killed by Wendingo. So we were 100% we were correct. We named it correctly. We just didn't know how to get it. But how do you, okay, it says bones tested and footprints tested to zero, zero. And we did collect the music box, it says we didn't. Okay, uh, we definitely tested the bones though, so I'm confused. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm being very generous here. I'm gonna give this a five out of 10. You know, it's budget price for $5. I mean, what can you really expect? Um, but I think I'm being very generous here, giving it a neutral 5 out of 10. Uh, honestly, the VR experience wasn't very good. Now, this might be more fun in, in non-VR. It might be more intuitive as far as what you need to do. But in VR, the problem is it runs poorly, has lots of pop-in, it has sudden frame rate drops, there's no tutorial, nothing to teach you what to do. Uh, I think we only got the text to that to go to the shed and that was the end of it. Um, the interactions are very basic. Uh, it's just a very poor experience in VR and I wouldn't recommend the VR experience. Keep in mind this is also supports non-VR. But given the budget price and I think there is something here. This is a 5 out of 10 neutral recommendation buy only to support the developer uh, if you want to see a better VR port 
and you're okay with spending money to help the dev out in doing that, that's the only reason I would recommend this game because the current VR experience as it is is not very good, to be honest with you guys, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Again, budget priced. If they charged any more money, if this has been any more than $5, I definitely would have given it a negative recommendation. But there's enough here for it, me to give it a very generous 5 out of 10. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. If you enjoyed... And by the way, I did buy this game, so don't think that the developer bought me off or that because I got a free Steam key. No, I didn't get a free Steam key. I bought this game as my own money. So yeah, I'm not going to refund it. Um, and I'm hoping that in the future the developer makes a better VR experience for this game because it sounds interesting. Like It has a good concept, and it's got some mechanics that I do enjoy. Like I said, it's got a nice mix of labyrinths, which I do like that game. And Phasmophobia, you know, some elements of that. But it just needs better execution of those ideas. Anyways, I'm Fast Lawyer. This has been my Let's Play Initial Impressions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.